today's video, we're opening the OCG's brand new epic creation pack three. What's up guys, we are back with another OCG opening and this time, this one I actually got from Sassy Auto and we will have a discount code down below if you guys want orders from him. So make sure you check that out if you guys like this product and so far just looking at it, there's first of all a bonus bag, pretty cool. Armor tile, the Chaos Phantom on the front. Seems pretty promising. I could have looked up what was in here and I was like, you know what, it'll be more fun if I just react to the cards as we go through. And I'll be giving away one of these boxes. All you have to do is like this video, be subscribed, turn on notifications, let me know down below what do you think about Creation Pack 3, and do you want to see it come to the English sets? Probably won't be called this, but you know, do we want to see this set in English? So I will be opening two boxes of this today. They are an interesting shape, They're like a little bit taller than our boxes, and they're about the same size, so it's interesting. They have a little bit longer packs, I guess. So. We're gonna get these open real quick and we're gonna start opening. I don't know what you can pull in here. As I said, I wanna be surprised. I'm gonna show you guys because this is a little bit different uh, than what we normally get in the TCG. They have the flaps here with like some cool info on there. So it looks like 10 ultra. Oh, this is really nice info actually. Why is this in English? It's for, it's for me guys, specifically. They're like, oh, they wanna know in English. They wanna know what's in here. 20 ultra rare cards, 40 supers, 50 rares and 80 normal. They just call it normal. So a common is just a normal card. Interesting. Some ultra rares are also available as secrets. Some ultra rares also available as quarter century secret rares. Wait. Doesn't say anything about quarter centuries. It also does, it just doesn't mention secrets at all because they're secret, I guess. So very interesting. Then you open it up, you get a plus one bonus pack. So little bonus pack in there and then you get all your packs as well. Okay, we have our two creation pack bonus packs. Let's start off with those. I think there's only like one card inside or something. So we're gonna, I think I probably should have done a pull tab or something. Was Yeah, I probably just done that. So let's do that. That's a little easier. Remember, pull tab on OCG, baby. You gotta remember that. All right, we have the Dark Beckoning Beast, just an ultra. So nothing like crazy rarity wise, but very cool. Dark Beckoning Beast makes sense with the theme of this with like the uh, sacred beasts on it and everything. Those help you summon those. Let's see if there's a different card in here. This looks like a Synchro, from what I can tell. Ooh, White or a Whale, Prismatic Secret. That's pretty nice. So I wonder how many different promos you can get there. All right, let's get to the packs. There should be, I mean, we should get some good pulls today. We're opening two full boxes, so I'm pretty excited about this. I don't know what kind of order these come in. Here's a normal card, as I said, Magic Spectre Tornado. We're going to go through. Okay, it looks like there's a Super and a Rare. So it looks like this is... Not like an all foil set or anything like that. So there we go. Aromasphere fee. Sweet Majoram. Okay, I, I need to learn how to speak. Okay. Five cards per pack, it looks like. So let's see what this next one is. Sun Avalon. We have Magic Spectre Supercell. We got a little <laughs> Clash of Clans going on. And uh, okay, nothing. Not even guaranteed foils in here. Okay. This is going to get interesting. So yeah, if you guys do end up liking this set and you want to grab some, check out Sassiato down below with my affiliate link. And I appreciate you guys if you do that. It helps support the channel. Helps me get more packs for the channel and uh let's just keep going to see what we can get i'm guessing you can get quarter centuries it said you could we had our raid raptor fiend eagle literally not guaranteed foils this is crazy this is unusual for Yu-Gi-Oh these days you almost always have a foil guaranteed so that aroma seraphy card was actually a nice pull we have a raid raptor readiness and snowdrop the reek affair so this one came in the last slot and the super came in the second to last slot that's kind of weird snowdrop the reek affair this was a big card for a while in the tcg because i think it hadn't had a reprint it was like 20 bucks i don't know if they ever reprinted that okay creation pack give us some of those uh sacred beasts quarter century that would be pretty amazing i'm guessing those are in here just you know just makes sense with the set let's see we have i mean you guys know our luck with sacred beasts so not exactly likely but We'll see. There's the another Rika Fairy. All right, a lot of creation pack. These need to go over here. There we go. So I can, I'm doing better with this uh, this pull tab today. We have Magic Specter Fox. Nice. Sun Vine. Oh, Fox is special. We have the Yada. This is a lot of Dimension of Chaos cards. And yeah, another Dimension of Chaos card. Interesting. So this is a lot of uh, reprints from Dimension of Chaos. So this is, I guess, some sort of... Obviously, every card I think so far has been a reprint. So it's just a nice reprint set. Let's see. Rika Princess. A lot of Rikas. Okay. If you're a Rika fan, this is definitely your set. Give us Uriah. Give us Raviel. Give us Amon. Let's do this. We have Magic Specter Storm. We have Sunvine. We have Yada. Rush. And Raid Raptor Tribute Lania. Shout out to the Raid Raptors. I did use those at one point. Okay, guys. I'm not very smart. These cards are in English. I just realized this is an Asian English set. 
I told you I didn't look anything up. This is an Asian English set, obviously, because that's why earlier on the box, it was in English. I was like, oh, that's super weird. Why is it in English? Asian English. Duh. Okay, how many minutes are we in? A few minutes in. It took me It took me a little bit. Look, guys, I haven't recorded in a few days. Okay, cut me some slack. I'm just like reading the cards and not even like noticing. Oh, yeah, these are English cards. <laughs> Okay, yeah, Asian English. So Asian English is a new thing that they're doing. There's another set I'm going to be opening, Asian English. That's why I wasn't even thinking about it, because I thought the other one was Asian English. There's a new set that I'm going to be opening, uh, or a new Asian English set that I'll be opening soon. Uh, that's a new thing that they're doing again, because if you don't know what Asian English is, English on the front and then Asian on the back, that just sounds wrong. But that that's just what it is. A it's Asian, Asian language, and then on the back it has the... So it's English text on the front, and then the back is the Asian English logo. So it's strange. Like, I still am not 100% sure what... Oh, nice. Secret rare. The uh, the Light of the Goatee. Not exactly a great card. No, I'm still not 100% sure, like, what this is for. Like, why is it two different languages? I really don't understand it. They used to do it in uh, LOB, and they did it for a few sets early on. Like, if you guys might have seen some Asian English, like, you think you found, like, the Blue Eyes First Dead. Turns out it's Asian English because you turn around and has that Asian logo on the back. I still don't really know. I probably should know this, but somebody in the in the comments give me an explanation. What who uses Asian English and why? Like what's the point? Cuz like if you want English cards, why don't you just use maybe it's maybe it's for like English speakers in Asia, but why don't they just get I guess cuz they're still doing OCG instead of TCG. So that if you grab, okay, there's a uh, Kenzashi, the Rika Queen. This is literally all Rikas. That's crazy. I guess because if you it, OCG and TCG is like separate, so they print a whole other thing, but it seems a little weird. Why not just send them the English cards? I don't know. It must be some sort of branch. There's some reason they do that, but I don't know. That's that's pretty strange. Uh, okay. Yeah. Weird. I'm trying to figure that out. Look, guys, it's going to be a long, it might be a long opening. You know, I don't, I don't know what I'm doing today. We have a Melius, but hopefully we pull a sacred beast. It would be ironic that this is the first. Oh yeah. Dino miss the pow Dino miss Dino stir, not Dino miss. This is Dynaster power. The mighty Draco slayer. Okay. Prismatic ultimate rare. That's beautiful. As you guys know, I really like this one, especially the OCG version. It's even better than ours. That looks absolutely amazing. Check that out. I really like the look of those. They look even better than the ones we got in Rarity Collection, which Rarity Collection 2 is in like, what, two months? Is that not crazy? Rarity Collection 2 in two months already. That's pretty ridiculous. We have an Aromage Laurel. I mean, I can't even... Like that's, I can't even get my head around that. We just had Rarity Collection. We're about to have it again. Pretty cool. Pretty exciting. I'm pretty pumped. We should have Rarity Collection pre-orders very soon. I know sassiato has been busy, but he's been like telling me I, I'm about to send them to you. So by the time you see this, we might have them up on the community tab and in the description. So go check those out. If you guys want to get some Rarity Collection too from Sassiato and support me. If you do, it'd be great because I have an affiliate with all those uh, pre-orders and stuff. Okay, that'll help me just buy more Rarity Collection too because we're going to need a lot. We have Raid Raptor, Final Fortress Falcon uh, because we're going to try to complete the full set yet again. And that, you know, took quite a while in the last video. Let's see what this next one is. Sun Avalon, Medias, Rika. We have Aromaphage. Okay. One ulti so far. Uh, one secret, I think. We have White Aura, Monoceros. I don't remember this card. Probably is a reprint because basically everything has been that I've noticed. So, which, you know, it's all Asian English. So if you're using Asian English cards, you don't really have that many options because they haven't been doing the sets for a long time. They stopped doing Asian English for a really long time and just recently started back up. So if you're trying to do a full Asian English set, you're not gonna be able to have that many cards at the moment because you'd have to go way back in time and then you'd have a few new ones. So I guess they're trying to fill in some of those as they go, I don't really know. Still not totally figured that out yet. We have Ignite Margrave, we have the Dynamist Stegosaur and Whitefish Salvage. Still a lot of packs left in this opening. Let's see if we can get something epic. The problem is like once you do the pull tab, it's so hard to get these out. Ooh. Ooh, I think we got something back there. Let's see. Ignite Veteran. Aromage. Magic Spectre Sonics. We have Aromage Bergamot. And... Ooh! Aromage Jasmine. There we go. Quarter Century Secret. I know my friend VOP will be excited about this. Big Aromage plant guy. So very cool. First Quarter Century Secret. I don't know if you're going to get one per box or if it's one every few boxes or what. Uh, either way, we're pretty happy with that. Let's see. what. Oh, oh, we got another ulti. It's a Link. Sun Avalon, Dryentia. So, oh my goodness. VOP is going to love this set. It's a pl another plant. They're all plants. Plants everywhere. There is a lot of cards left. Ignite Margrave. 
We got Raid Raptor Stranglelanius. That seems a little scary. Stay away from me. A lot of packs left. We've got some good pulls so far. Humid Winds. We have Dried Winds is also a card. I don't know if it's in here. Creation Pack 3. So what is this a reprint of? It's like, feels like Core. It's White Stingray. It feels like Docs. You know, stuff like that. Uh, okay, I'm still waiting to see any of the Sacred Beasts, though. So where are those at? We have, uh, I mean, these are way newer, though. These have, like, links in them, so... They also have links for the driest stuff. Trying to figure out what the combo is. Magispector Storm, we have the Aromage Gluttony and Raid Raptor Fuzzy Laney and Raid Raptors. So Raid Raptors were in one of those side sets. Was that their original print? Was it Wing Raiders maybe? Or was it later? Not sure. We have Raid Raptor Rise Falcon. It's one of those ones I opened in auction series back in the day. You know, it's been so long since then. You know, I don't even remember anything that we actually did other than me winning every episode. We have the uh, Ignite Champion. Okay, 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 okay. Come on, give us another quarter century. Let's see what we can get. Let's get something awesome. This Asian English new set. Hopefully you guys are enjoying it a little bit different. I mean, the cool part is it's OCG, but we can also read the cards. So I kind of like that. That's pretty awesome. Veteran, which I actually don't know what's OCG. Is it OCG? It's gotta be OCG, right? Cause it's, I think these are for Asia, right? So that's OCG. So it's gotta be OCG. We have the aroma jars in here. Hyper Blaze. I think Aroma Jar is originally in Core, isn't it? I think. I'm not totally sure. Ignites, I think, were as well. Ignite. We have the Raid Raptor Call. Lots of cards, lots of pulls. Yeah, okay. So I figured the strategy out for opening these up. We have Magic Specter Fox. We have the Chaos Core. The strategy is you grab it, you chunk it like that, and it pushes the cards to the side. The little bit dangerous part is, you know, you don't want to throw them around too hard. Magic Specter Tempest. Romage Greed and Cerulean for a little Cerulean City action. Okay, you just bump it over a little bit, not too aggressively. You open it up. We're going to get a Sacred Beast. Surely they're in here, right? I mean, I mean, the the Armatile's in here at least. Got to be. He's the cover card. We've yet to pull him, though. Sun Avalon Melias. We have the Aromage Rosemary. Dried Winds. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, 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 oh. We have the Sui. What? <laughs> Sui Jin and then Fallen Paradise. Okay, interesting. Su Why? Why? Why is there a sewage in here? That's weird. Okay. <laughs> Randomly, there's a sewage in. That seems like it doesn't fit at all. So maybe there's like, you know, sewage in the gate guardian stuff. Maybe, uh, or the gate guard, like the, the old gate guardian stuff. Then there's the, uh, there's a Rika fairy again. All the sacred beasts and armatile, maybe. I don't know. That's pretty strange. Uh, I'm confused by that. Vector Pendulum on the Draco Lord. Draco Cover Lord. Is he, was he in Core Docs or was he in a different set? I can't remember. Raid Raptor, we have the, I feel like he was a little bit newer, that Vector Pendulum. He might have been in like Maximum Crisis, if I had to guess. That's what I would say. We have Ignite, we have Raid Raptor. A lot of Ignite, a lot of Raid Raptor, that's for sure. Those are uh, definitely hard reprints. The Dryas stuff, Cyclamen, the Rika Fairy, Ignite Paladin, Dynamite. We got to get one more QCR, come on. Two boxes open. You guys can win your own box. Make sure you guys enter that giveaway and make sure you guys go check out the community tab for giveaways. See if you've won anything recently. There's a Ascon, the Bicorned Gote. That is an Ultra. All right, a Romage Marjoram, a Majespect, Majesty Pegasus. Down to the last few packs. Come on, give us something. Tornado, Grave Squirmer. Oh man, that's an old school one. By old school, I mean Dual Links, you know. You guys know. I like Dual Links. We have Magic Spectre Cyclone. We have Dynamis Rush and Omorphage Sloth. So we got something rushing and then the next card was a Sloth. So an interesting combo there. Interesting combo. Ignite Crusader. We have the Dynamist and the Raid Raptor Lastrix. That is a card I did use at some point. We did, uh, we either used that in, in the auction series or we used it when I did that one episode of Master Duel where we built that deck uh, out of whatever cards we pulled and we made a Raid Raptor deck basically. Last packs here we go give us oh fallen paradise at it again give us another qcr we're down to what six packs or so i i guess it was 48 i didn't even really look i guess it was 24 cards per pack or 24 packs raid raptor revolution falcon air raid so it's interesting that the supers are in the second to last slot and if you get anything else it's in the last slot pretty weird that they did that i don't really get it romage measure ram we have the romage lysis and the pain lanius Four more packs. So far, I mean, we've gotten some cool cards, but I really was hoping for some Sacred Beast stuff, and uh, maybe it's just hard to get, but you guys know how I have no luck with Sacred Beast. That's for sure. Three packs left. And that might just be the case here, because I didn't look up the set. Come on, Lecter Pendulum, the Draco Coverlord. Two packs left. Here we go. 
Here we go. Come on, give us something big. Oh, last pack magic. Here we go. <sighs> last pack magic. Come on. Give us something epic. We got a random sewage in. That's the one that doesn't fit in with this set at all. Here we go. Give us a QCR. If that if there's no QCR, it means they're not one per box. We have the Raid Raptor Skull Eagle. <laughs> we got a last pack ultra, but it's the uh, it's the goate. Not very exciting there. Okay, just to be sure, I looked up the set list, and according to Yu-Gi-Oh! Fandom, they have Uriah, Haman, and Raviel, but they don't have a rarity. So, I don't know if that means they haven't been confirmed yet or what, but they're supposed to be in here, but we didn't get them. Oh well, we tried our best. If you guys enjoyed the set, and maybe you will get them out of the box for giving away, that sounds like my luck. Just make sure to enter that giveaway down below. And make sure you guys check out the affiliate link down below if you're interested in buying any of this set and supporting the channel. Shout out to Tone Fo Show, Puffin Zudum, Ernesto Dan, America Deutscher, KK Beats, Another Side Show, Ian Moose, Junior Barning, Robert F., Thomas McLean, Chang Lang, and Aldelso Galicia Jr. Thank you guys for supporting the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.